that are doing the work in the trenches. And they are beyond the stigma of shame. The only way to heal is to help empower them to be part of their healing through the services, but part of the solution and the appropriate response for us in Ohio to do the right thing. And with that, I'd like to um, recognize and have um, Marlene Carson. I want you to see him. She's doing a great job in the Ray House Hideaway here in Columbus. She's been an integral part of law enforcement because they help the victims become survivors. And that helps with the, with the um, prosecution because my aim is correct. I would do more than 10 years for mandatory for traffickers. I would, we need to arrest the Johns. We need to decrease the demand because this is a market-based system. So thank you for your, your effort. And I'd like to introduce and have come up Teresa Flores. She's a remarkable individual. It's someone that we need to listen to. She's a survivor of this. And I just can't imagine if you're kidnapped or even trapped into this crime and you're 14, 15, even 17, why would we put you through the jail system to get the services if you're a victim? So I think that's that's the question we must answer. And just because we don't have a system to appropriately respond to that doesn't mean we have to make them go through a system that, that we have adjusted. We need to adjust to them. So thank you very much. Well, I first want to thank um, Governor Kasich for honoring me with the Courage Award. Um, I don't view that as my award. I view it as the courage we've all had to have um, to start this fight. And I hope that it gives other victims the courage to step forward, and other survivors as well. Um, we really need an army to combat this evil. Um, it's going to take all of us, and it's something that we can't tolerate anymore. Um, a couple of months ago, I read an article in the paper of a 10-year-old that was found after her many been missing for a year and a half. Um, she had run away, and it literally said she was caught in prostitution. 10 years old. Really? When are we going to stop calling this prostitution and putting the blame on her? You know, at what age? She didn't have a choice, and she didn't choose to do this. Nobody, like he said, chooses this life. None of us do. We don't choose to have sex with 10 to 15 strangers every night of the week. Nobody would choose to do that. Um, and I'm really excited about this PSA um, that Governor Kasich and I taped because I'm hoping that it will help other victims come forward and call that toll-free hotline number. I'm hoping with all my heart that it will help other normal citizens recognize the signs by going on www.humantrafficking.org. I hope that they will go on there and see what the signs are, educate themselves, and notice a kid that needs help in calling that number. Nobody called a number for me. Nobody rescued me or saved me because nobody knew the signs. And I used to think that I was the only one. It's very lonely. You think that this is the only, you're the only one that this horror is happening to. And you have no idea how to get out. But we need everybody else's help. Um, and so I'm hoping that local radio stations and TV stations will see the importance of this. They'll recognize that they have a daughter, they have a niece or a granddaughter, and they'll see the importance of playing this for all of Ohioans to be able to recognize the signs. This order that he's been assigned today is so vital in the next step. Um, we can rescue girls all day long, but they come to us with nothing. No money, no ID. They need medical help. They need a place to live, they need counseling, and they need a place that will help them be a kid again. I'm sure your daughters love to go to the movies with their friends. Maybe they uh, still play with their Barbie dolls. This 10-year-old wasn't playing with her Barbie dolls, and she wasn't going to the movies with her friends. This order will help put into place 
services where she can go and heal and rehabilitate and she can heal inside and she can start to just be a kid again. So I want to thank you for 